There are many mycophilic countries, mainly in Western Europe, but the most well-known is perhaps Lithuania, where I am based now. There are many mycophilic countries, mainly in Western Europe, but most Romantic-speaking countries like France, Italy, Portugal, and Spain, and Romantic-speaking minorities are mycophilic. Mushrooms in these countries are important for food, collected for recreation, preserved, sold, gifted, and are important for the economy. There is a very high diversity of mushrooms eaten and commercialized in Europe. However, due to food safety issues, there is a need to put guidelines in place. The UK and the US, where I am currently located, are two of the most predominant mycophobic cultures. These two countries have not written any legislation about mushrooms. Additionally, while the average resident of the Netherlands consumes about 11.7 kilograms per year of mushrooms, the average American only consumes about a tenth of that, at 1.6 kilograms. There is a wide variety of mushrooms eaten in Europe. 268 taxa are being commercialized. Of them, only 60 can be farmed. The rest are collected in the wild. Mushrooms picked can be eaten fresh, marinated, or dried to be used in different soups. The US prefers other kinds of products. In mycophobic countries, people rarely forage for mushrooms, preferring to just eat farmed ones they can get from the grocery store for fear of getting poisoned by wild types. While mycophilic countries use a variety of species in cooking, the US mainly uses one, Agaricus bisporus, or the button mushroom. The United States and the United Kingdom are the two main mycophobic cultures. English names of wild mushrooms show the anxiety surrounding them. Witch's Hat, Dead Man's Fingers, Destroying Angel, and Poison Pie are just a few examples. Another mycophobic tradition is in the Germanic-speaking countries, except for Austria, which is under the influence of its Italian neighbors. Germanic-speaking countries have no legislation specific to mushrooms, and mushroom picking is not an issue of public interest. Indigenous people consume just a few species of mushrooms, most of which are cultivated. So you only should pick mushrooms that you know. But if you do happen to find some Boletus, which grows across the US from cold to subtropical climates, just fry up some onions, then slice up the Boletus and put them all together. And it will make you an excellent garnish for fish or potatoes or frankly anything else you'd like. <laughs>